What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and beautiful people of the Crasher community? How are you guys doing today? We are back with another video on the channel. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day to tune in to your boy's channel. Thank you guys very flippin' much. I would not be here if it weren't for all of you amazing people. With that being said, let's get into today's topic. We're here to discuss an article on Dexerto that is titled, Pokemon Go players that demand more accessibility options for 7th anniversary. With Pokemon Go's 7th anniversary on the horizon, some players think it's high time the mobile game gets some robust accessibility options. Though many Pokemon Go fans likely remember how the mobile game became a phenomenon that took the world by storm in the summer of 2016, it may be hard to believe that Pokemon Go's 7th anniversary is fast approaching. Like many live service titles, Pokemon Go will undoubtedly hold another anniversary event celebration as July 2023 approaches, and fans are no doubt eager to see what new content comes to the game. However, instead of new Pokemon, some fans want to see some accessibility features finally make their way to Pokemon Go, something the experience is sorely lacking. The call for accessibility options gained traction at the Silph Road subreddit, where one fan made a post titled, In 5 weeks, Pokemon Go turns 7 and to this day, it has no accessibility settings. The OP explained, in a time where other games come with extensive accessibility settings, I think it's a massive black mark on Niantic that their games come with none whatsoever. In recent years, the gaming industry as a whole has made a substantial effort to accommodate more gamers than ever, with dedicated robust features surrounding colorblind settings, button mapping, and much more. As such, this trainer asked the community what accessibility options they'd like to see make their way to the game, and even gave a few of their own. These included dedicated color blindness settings, a setting to change tapping gestures to hold gestures, and adjustable text size. Other fans in the comments agreed the game needs more options like these, and shared how these suggestions would be helpful to them. I could use adjustable text size. I've got an astigmatism with my eyes, and they don't always like to sit still, said one user. Another trainer suggested an option to limit the white flashes that sometimes appear while playing. I'd love an option to get rid of the white flashes you get while switching screens. Bright flashes tend to trigger migraines for me. As accessibility in Pokemon Go has been a hot-button topic in recent months, it would likely go a long way toward community sentiment should Niantic add some of these options to the game. Of course, whether or not this comes to fruition remains to be seen. And now it's time for your boy to weigh in on this, and long story short, I am 150% on board with everything that was suggested here in this article. And on the note of accessibility, Niantic actually had the right idea going on when it came to accessibility back in 2020, where we had ourselves the introduction of remote raiding, one of the absolute best features ever in Pokemon Go. But then in 2023, look at what happened. Look at what Niantic did to remote raiding in general. They basically killed it off. But even with that and all of the other bullshit that Niantic deservedly gets called out on, I think this would be an absolutely huge move for Niantic to make when it comes to adding accessibility features for those that have some type of impediment, be it physical, mental, emotional, etc. Like Niantic, I don't know how many times I gotta repeat myself. I don't know how many times we gotta teach you this lesson, old man, but the game shouldn't revolve around one specific demographic of players, that being the fully able-bodied and those that live in big cities. This game should be accessible and enjoyable for every single player, no matter what shape or form they are. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, there's actually something I've been meaning to address and call out. Yes, this is a point in the video where things get a little bit spicy, so I would suggest having a cold glass of water with you if you can't handle the spice. Now, a while ago, especially during the height of Hear Us Niantic, which, by the way, is still going on, even to this very day as of me shooting this video, I've come across a lot of comments and responses in regards to that subject, 
And there is a, let's say, a very special group of comments that are so despicable and so disgusting. And to kind of paraphrase what I got out of those comments, it essentially could have been boiled down to something like this. Pokemon Go shouldn't revolve around you just because of your disability, or just because of your situation, or just because of your limitations. Who in the absolute hell do you think you are to say something like that and to have an elitist and disgusting mindset like that? Should the game revolve around them? Well, here's the thing. Here's the better question. Why should the game revolve around you? What makes you so special? Like, just because you're a big city goer and you're able-bodied, how does that make you any better of a player than someone who is the total opposite, who don't have those luxuries of living in a big city, who don't have the luxuries of being able-bodied like you? Like, if you're gonna be asking the question to someone who has legitimate struggles, why should the game revolve around you, the only person that you should be asking that question to is the person that looks back at you when you're talking to yourself in the mirror. Like, I'm sorry, but... I absolutely despise exclusion, okay? That shit just pisses me the fuck off. 150%. Again, I understand why the game was built. Again, I understand how it was built, why it was conceived, what the mission is, all of which I get and I respect. But at the same time, we all have to understand that like Pokemon, times evolve, mindsets evolve, the way to play games have evolved as a whole. There should be accessibility options to help accommodate those that are less fortunate, to help accommodate those that perhaps can't play like able-bodied players, but still want to enjoy the game to the fullest and rightfully deserved. And you know what? I want to do something a little extra here. I want to spotlight my man Film Vlogs, who made an incredible tweet. We have ourselves the following. Rowena sets the best examples for everybody to go through remote work access at home is an accessibility need for jobs. What if Pokemon Go can accommodate like this to access remote features for accessibility play with these people mentioned down below? Hashtag Heroes Niantic. And what we have here is an image that reads the following. Remote work access is work access for a wheelchair user, for a single parent, for someone with chronic illness, for a caregiver, for a displaced person, for a new parent, for a family displaced by the climate crisis, for any parent, for a temporarily disabled person, for an adult child caring for their parent, for a person who is neurodivergent, for a rural community member. Remote work access is work access for you. Remote work access is work access for all of us, for the good times and the bad times. Appreciate remote work, as it is not for everyone always, but it is for everyone sometimes. Remote work is accessibility in action. And you know something? Here's the thing. Pokemon Go is not going to go down the shitter. It is not going to be ruined if Niantic actually listens to those with accessibility needs and other types of complications and ailments that impedes their abilities to be able to play the game to the fullest like an able-bodied person would. Niantic isn't going to go down the shitter if they actually accommodate those people too. Pokemon Go should be for everyone, okay? Don't be fucking selfish. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I really, really needed to get that part especially off of my chest. Woo! Man, I kept that bottled in for so long, and it feels good to get that out. Because it is the fucking truth. It is how I feel, and I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of others out there that feel the same way, or at least feel similar to how I feel. And for those that don't agree, at least try to understand where people like me are coming from, okay? We all want the same thing. We all want for Pokemon Go to flourish. We all want for Pokemon Go to be successful. We all want for Pokemon Go to be enjoyed by every single person that has an interest, that has a love for Pokemon. So let's all work together instead of working against each other, okay? But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, these are just my own thoughts and opinions on the matter. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Either way, I would love to hear you guys out in the comments down below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you next time.